降り注ぐ光のあるはい、シャーツォーキング、こんにちは。私はいつもの動画を撮影しています。今回は、エイモーキャラクター。エイモーキングは、ファイナルファンタジーディメンション2コラボレーション。私は、ファイナルファンタジーディメンション2コラボレーション。私は、ファイナルファンタジーディメンション2コラボレーション。私は、ファイナルファンタジーディメンション2コラボレーション。私は、ファイナルファンタジーディメンション2コラボレーション。私は、ファイナルファンタジーディメンション2コラボレーション。私は、ファイナルファンタジーディメンション2コラボレーション。私は、ファイナルファンタジーディメンション2コラボレーション。And she is very standout when compared to all the characters that we got on the on the game so far.、Uh, but we need to talk about the, the first thing.、Uh, her status are above average for a character、uh, that uses staffs, but only when compared to story characters. She doesn't beat、uh, gacha characters in the game, but she has very high status when compared to them. And she also has the potential for us、uh, of the story characters. She doesn't have the access to the when we compare her. This, this stuff here, we see that the first node is Mag plus 32. When we get to a character like、uh, Amelia, Amelia has access to more status from the potential force. Just for comparison, I don't think this is that has that much of an impact, but we we need to explain everything. See here,、uh, the first node is 40 Mag. When you compare、uh, the whole potential force of the story characters and the Gacha characters, the Gacha characters have a、uh, 20% plus status from the potential force, and they usually also have more status when compared to story characters. But this is not everything about a character. We need to talk about all other stuff that a character has to identify if it's strong enough to be viewable on the, on the meta of the game. And I have to say that Emo is very, very strong. She can compete with Gacha character even having less status. But I need to explain why. Well, first information we need to check her attacks. I have the information because I dig it on her multipliers, and I'll show you right now. Well, this is the information about the, her attacks. We need,、uh, first things first,、uh, Emo is a sorcerer of the holy element, but she can also cast fire elements. So she's dual element. And、uh, we need to talk about how we are getting this character when compared to Japan. In Japan, this character was released、uh, as a free character as well, but we didn't have access to、uh, her orb because the orb was only、uh, obtainable by trading a Mog Rod on the shop. And the Mog Rod was not free, you couldn't just not get any Mog Rod in the game, you had to summon for it. So you had to summon for a Mog Rod to trade for、uh, her unique orb, and she,、uh, but she was free. So, Also, another thing when compared to Japan, she only had two attacks in Japanese version. In the global version of the game, she has three attacks, and the first is Firaga, the second one is Holly, and the third one is Firaga again. So that equals to 19 hits, as you see here、uh, below the information about the three attacks. And she、uh, will do more damage because of it, it will feel more out of the purification gauge and become way vol more vulnerable when compared to the Japanese version of the game. When you see that, that also her multipliers are not bad, the first attack has 3.6 multiplier on, in 9 hits, and Holly has 4.5 multiplier and 1 hit. This magic here、uh, are compared to the Final Fantasy series, Firaga is a very common name for Final Fantasy games. And her purification attack is called the Rap Programming, and it, it has a 6.5 multiplier and 4 hits. It's、uh, just slightly above the average because the, the average is 5.0. Multiplier for story characters, okay? But、uh, her final multiplier for normal attacks is very high, it's uh, uh, above 11.7% uh, uh, multiplier. It's very, very high. I don't think that many other characters would have that much because she got one more attack. She was balancing for two attacks when getting a, a third attack from free, she just g e t、uh, enough to beat. Even Gacha characters on this regard, okay? She even,、uh, has even more multiplier than、uh, Amelia, but her passives are not as strong as Amelia. But this is something that we get, okay?、Uh, now we have to check other information is her passives. The passives of her character are more important than the, 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 the old characters sometimes because they, 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 they are the definition of the, if your character can reach high numbers or not. She has the first skill called the Wheel of Motion, it's from the Blue Orb. And increases mag up to 15%. It's not that high, guys, because, well, when compared to a character like Amelia that we also get from free from the login bonus, Amelia can increase it by 40%. But Aimo has something more. 
Uh, Imo has the Hope for Tomorrow from the Black Orb. It increases Fire and Holy damage by up to 15% as well. Uh, fire and Holy, the two elements that she attacks. And then when you combine this two stuff, she can get up to 30% increase on her mag. But, uh, by doing fire and holy damage. She won't be using any other type of element. I'm pretty sure that you, when you're using her, you'll be using either the Mog Rod or some Fire Staff. I'm pretty sure of it. Well, so this makes her uh, a, li a, li uh, a little better in comparing to some Gasha characters. She also has the Body Bonds passive, and the Body Bonds passive increases defense and mind by up to 14%. Well, uh, uh, it's not that high, but it helps when you, when you need some more defenses. She's not that bad on defensive stuff. And well, uh, I need to talk about something. It's that. Let me remove these images. When we check this information here, it's very, very similar to Killing. She increases magic and defense and mind, and uh, fire and holy damage. Let's just click on Killing and see. I'm pretty sure the developers uh, check it for uh, even when developing Killing, but uh, Killing is stronger in a lot of regards and not as strong on, on others. First of all, uh, Killing has more damage with her normal attacks. She can reach a, a, almost 15 times multiplier with the three attacks combined. It's very, very high. It's beyond the curve. I don't see any other character doing that much multipliers with their normal attacks. But when we see the, the, the information about the passive skills, you see that the first one increases mag, just like Aimo. The second one increases critical hit damage and damage dealt by lightning attacks. This is the only thing that's different from Aimo, because Aimo deals uh, fire and, and holy increased damage. But uh, as killing is, has only one element, she has more critical hit damage to compensate. And then we have the Taiji body, and so increases defense and mag defense, just like Aimo as well. You see, they are very common in this the, the type of passives they, they can use. So let's just get back to passives of Aimo. You see, very, very, very similar. Uh, wrong page. Okay, see, the mag defense and mind are the same stuff. They sometimes translate it different. The, the colors of the orbs are very different. But, uh, well, uh, talking about this stuff, uh, I really recommend you guys to focus on the Wheel Emotion Hope for Tomorrow to increase her damage. Combine it, Mag, and the uh, Fire and Holy damage, you have 30% increase on her damage potential by using the, the correct orbs. Uh, and Body Bonds is just not important. Well, let's talk about the limited skill right now. Uh, she has a slight healing. Uh, this limited skill in, it will heal uh, your characters. By sacrificing one level of purification gauge, and I dig it some of the information here. It's 80% of each character HP. It's different when when you're using some weapon like the Shuruk or other weapon with healing stuff, because it uh, the other weapons uh, heals based on the total uh, HP, the max HP of the whole party. But here is different. She will heal 80% of each character HP. So if you have someone with uh, very low HP and someone with very high in HP, the final value won't be exactly 80% because it will heal 6% of the total with one character, 10% of the total with other character, and the value may be different. But it's very similar to 80% all the time, okay? It's not very high, but it's just that uh, emergency heal that you may need uh, in the game. Another thing that she doesn't have a party assist because party assistance was implemented after Mercurius character was released on Japan. She was released before this. And uh, her party skill is called the Holy Dance. Holy Dance is not bad, it's uh, actually important to have, but not as an early or mid-term investment. Because uh, uh, Omni is more important, Easy Going is more important, and Clever is more important. Once you are finished with these three skills, you can start uh, uh, climbing the, the Holy Dance, Fire Dance, Ice Dance, Dark Dance skills that are very important as well. Well, finishing this stuff. Well, talking about her art skill, she gets 10% mag on start of each of her turns and up to 30% increase. It's not uh, slow, 3 turns is not that much, it's very easy to reach her max potential. Okay, so this kind of uh, increases more of her, of her damage, but most characters uh, from Gacha get uh, around 40% increase with her their orbs. Uh, it's very close, but not exactly comparable, okay? 
Well, there's one more thing to talk about Aimo in is her uh, use of the Mog Rod. The Mog Rod is very good when using by Aimo because Aimo has increased status when using the Mog Rod. I have information on a mage here and you can understand better. Well, the Mog Rod gives a 15% more status when equipped on Aimo and it also stacks with the True Power mechanic. Well, what happens is the True Power adds 20% of the, the weapon status when your character has level 50 or up. Uh, or up. And well, uh, what happens here is that you have 15% by having the Mog Rod equipped and 20% more by the True Power. And the final status is 18% from Mog Rod and 20 from uh, True Power, equaling a 138% increase if your character has a level 50 or above. That's why it's so important to have uh, a emo on level 50 as soon as possible. Talking about the Mog Rod, as soon as you finish the farming of the event by using multiple copies of the Mog Rod on your main characters, well, you have to see that the, this Mog Rod is probably the best and strongest Hoddy staff in the game so far, and also when compared to all other type of weapons. It deals severe type of damage, hits all enemies, and also has something different that we need to see here, and I will have to turn off this image. Also this image here. And the thing is that this has the highest probably base damage because of the Holy Magic Fundamentals. The Holy Magic Fundamentals increase the Holy Action skill damage further by 10%. So this, uh, all other uh, severe type of weapons that we had didn't have any type of boost by, uh, by increasing the damage. At least not the EOE types. Uh, Vorpal Shade increases ice damage, but Vorpal Shade is only a single target, it only has two uses. Uh, the Rosh Ways is the same thing, but only being a bow and from the lightning element. So Mogrod is the first AOE Seaver damage with a passive that increases the, the base damage even further. So this is very important to have this Mogrod. I really hope you guys can max this weapon. If you're starting the game, you can use your 5 copies just to increase status. And when you have a lot of other weapons, you will just uh, fuse the all Mogrods together to get the action skill to level 5. So, well, that, that kind of explains everything about this Mog Rod. It's very good. Uh, I really hope you guys get it. It's stronger than most uh, gacha weapons in the game. I can only see a legendary evolution weapon having uh, better use than this Mog Rod. Okay? Well, guys, uh, that's it. I don't think there's more things to tell about Aimo. I really like this character. She's very, very good because uh, she's got a buff compared to Japan, she's all free to use, she covers two elements, she uh, co compares to killing most of the time, some things she's better than killing because she covers two elements, killing only covers one, but killing increases way more uh, of the modification gauge when compared to. And also there was only one thing that I didn't show you, that it's this screen here. You see that I have this information just below the attack times, and you see that this is the full uh, purification gauge increase when you are attacking with uh, Aimo. So you see, uh, she can compare to killing on this regard. It's just impossible to compare to killing. Only Norn can compare to killing on this regard. But she's very strong. She has 19 hits. 19 hits is just very good to farm on Valhalla Salt type of events or other stuff to drop crystals. So she will be very good to have starting for now. Thanks for watching this video so far, I really hope you can enjoy this content, uh, please subscribe if you haven't, I really need to get to 1000 subscribers to keep the channel alive, okay? Thanks for watching, we see each other on the next video, bye!